The Quran Li app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The African nation of Ghana has unanimously passed a bill that criminalizes LGBTQ and the main reason that they have given is to protect their children and victims of abuse. Like I said it was done democratically in a parliament and Ghana is a democracy and the only thing left now is the president's signature. Ghana is now being threatened to a level that I have not seen before. Normally countries should be threatened when they are, I don't know, committing a genocide like Israel is currently doing or I don't know, illegally invading another country under false pretenses like America did in Iraq or when minorities are clearly being oppressed like is happening in India. We don't see anyone getting involved to the level that I have seen with Ghana just because of LGBT. The World Bank says that they would withhold 3.8 billion dollars from them. That's number one. The IMF have said that it would affect their bailout program which in turn could decrease the value of their currency putting them further in economic turmoil that they are in already. On top of that international aid will be affected as well. On top of that it is now being challenged in their supreme court. That's why even though the president's signature is still required he has said look we have to first see what's going to happen in the supreme court and two guesses about what's going to happen mate because here what liberalism with a small l yeah has said the religion of liberalism the caliphate of liberalism sharia liberalism if you do not follow what we are following then your babies could die your children can die your men women all of them mate doesn't matter but it's just put in a certain package like it's not as obvious they're not saying it like that the thing is you know we're just gonna withhold the loan that's gonna you know that's very important for your survival for your country's survival in other words it's collective punishment mate that's what's happening so what is the criminalization that Ghana has done they are saying five years in prison if you are forming or funding these groups and it up to three years if you identify as LGBT. Now when it comes to Islam, when it comes to Muslims, ah, the caliphate, yeah what about the caliphate? You guys want to take over me? Sharia law, you guys got your Sharia law, you come on, force it upon us. Do you want Britain to become Sharia law mate? There's headlines, there's mass debates, there's marches, all because these guys are going to take over mate. I'm sorry, when have we ever forced another country by holding their population hostage just because they didn't believe what we believed? I mean give me a break. And then the US comes along and says oh we're very troubled by what's going on over there. I'm sorry, who invited you to this conversation? Why does your opinion matter? Who cares what you think? Especially when the whole world has seen you veto, not once, not twice, thrice a ceasefire when there's a genocide taking place. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who invited you to the table mate? Bye bye. And we saw what happened in 2023 when Uganda did something and again the World Bank spoke out and it was problems. So this is a religion. Liberalism with a small l is a religion and it is being forced. And when you look at how the LGBT have kind of come together, they sit on the boards like the Pritzker family, Soros and etc etc. I already made a video on this. They sit on the boards of hospitals, of universities and they advise leadership. That's why they get their stuff done, <laughs> you know what I mean? And as Muslims, yes we march as well but we need to have voices in influential positions. Subhanallah, we're definitely seeing even Muslim leadership is not able to stand when a clear crime is taking place. Chances are as we can see that it's not gonna get passed because obviously the consequences are going to be very severe to the country. It's gonna bring it's gonna bring them on their knees. They're already on their knees. It's gonna bring them on their on their stomachs. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allah make it easy for us. And subhanAllah, what are your thoughts about Ghana? Let's leave it there. 
Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.